Good morning, everybody. Hello, this is Jill, and I am going to give you our new house tour. We just closed yesterday on a second house, a vacation house in Florida, and we have been dreaming about this forever. So I'm so excited to share with you our new house. We hope you like it as much as we do, and here goes. Okay, you guys, this is the gate that gets into our front door. Took me a while to figure out how to do this because I just kept pushing down and nothing was working. Whoops. And there's our front door. It's very bare inside. I've never had to actually furnish a whole house from beginning, but we did purchase a few items from the people who were here before, so you'll get to see. So this is our entryway. We have balloons out because yesterday we surprised um, Brennan and Ryan with the purchase of the house. They had no idea, so we have balloons all over. So you'll see it's a little bit festive. So when you walk in the entryway, you see the kitchen to the left. Straight ahead would be like the main living area, and over here is a half bath. So let me take you to the little vestibule and a half bath. This has a nice window. There you go. I've never had a half bath before. So this will be fun. <laughs> as fun as half baths are. <laughs> There's Michael John in our new kitchen. So this is our kitchen. We have a side-by-side -side refrigerator with ice maker um, and it has this the water dispenser on the outside, which Mike has never ever wanted, but Katie and I always have, so hopefully he will like it. We filled it with some um, items last night. We had some sushi last night as a celebration with the boys. Nothing in the freezer yet. Not, we, we're a little skeptical about the side-by-side -side because we don't think you can fit as much stuff in here, but we're gonna have to see. We don't buy a lot of frozen pizzas or wide things, so I think that's gonna be okay over here on the freezer side, but um, we're gonna give it a try. It's what came with the house, so that's good. Our cabinets are a beautiful cherry wood, and when we first saw the house, I thought, oh, I'm definitely gonna paint those cabinets. But now I have to tell you, I am really, really liking the richness of the cabinet. I think it's beautiful. And we are going to be painting the walls white, so I think that this richness combined with the bright starkness of the white is gonna be a beautiful contrast. It already has subway tile, white subway tile down here, so that's beautiful. There's our range, our microwave. Mike's doing a little work over there. What are you doing, Mike? Uh, it turns out um, it's not this, uh, those are hurricane shutters. Those metal oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Okay, good. We've got something. We'll show you later on when we go to the garage what, what the that garage. is. It, Mike's favorite part of the whole house. <laughs> okay, when it's time, we'll, we'll, we'll call on your services. Excellent. Thanks, Mike. Dishwasher granite countertops. I had originally thought that I wanted to lower these countertops and make them sort of like a white quartz, but now I'm really, again, with the white paint we haven't done yet, which we're going to do today, as you can see there, I really think I'm gonna like these countertops as they are. I think we really lucked into that. I'm not sure about those light fixtures. Uh, I had different ones in mind. We'll probably switch those out, but um, I don't know, Ryan likes them. That Mike likes them. And that's a really nice chandelier, but I think we're gonna do something a little bit more beachy. Okay, so this is the great room, and it leads out to the lanai. The great room is pretty large. It's 25 feet long. So what we're gonna do, obviously, is put, we're gonna get stools for there, get a table for there, and then of course get a couch and chairs and all that stuff for here. We're gonna do an accent wall over here, and over here is going to be the TV. We're gonna hang that right on the wall. So this will make a nice, cozy room. Now these, um, what do you call them? The, uh, the blinds over here in front of the slider, I'm sure they are custom made. They're absolutely beautiful. They're like, um, uh, Rattan kind of, if you can see, I'll go up close. They're really, really nice. The only thing is for us, they're a little bit dark and they don't go back far enough. We would like to be able to expose the whole slider to, uh, to the room. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to remove those and we're gonna put up a high, 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 high curtain rod and 
make the curtains go all the way to the end so that we can see the full view of the slider. For example, look at way over here, the slider goes to like there and it's still covered up even though it's open all the way. So we love our beautiful lanai doors. Watch this, they're accordion. Is it, I think it's called accordion when they do this, but they can go all the way over and they can over open from either side. So you can have this side open or you can have the other side open. So it's really beautiful making, bringing the outside in. This is our lanai. This is some of the furniture that we did purchase from the folks who were here before. We thought we needed, oh, we're on the golf course which Ryan was and Brennan were over the moon about. I'm so excited, we're on the fifth hole and it is a beautiful golf course. This is the one that the boys play all the time and my father too. So we'll get to see them playing golf out there. Anyway, so this is the lanai and we have furniture here and I'm gonna do some landscaping in there, some pretty plants and uh, flowers and ferns, some water. Now the sun sets over there, so we are west facing it rises on this side of the house and sets on that side of the house okay so back in the great room and this is our master bedroom again this is some furniture that we purchased from the folks before us not the mattress we have to get a new mattress but a beautiful cedar chest over here and two nightstands king bed two lamps and that um <laughs> god bless you the bench. I'm not sure if we're going to keep the bench and move it over here and move the cedar chest. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that yet, but I really like how this furniture fits in this room. And then we have his and hers walk-in closets. I'm going to have to get my friends from Modular Closets to help me out here to do some work in here. But these are great size. That's Michael's. This is mine. I didn't realize when I claimed this one that I was going to get the shelves. I'm pretty excited about that. Sorry, Mike. I just thought I wanted the one on the right because I'm right-handed and I got the one with the shelves. He might not know that yet. Don't tell him. And this is our bathroom. We have his and her sinks. One, two, and then a beautiful walk-in shower. Oops. Open. There we go. Walk-in shower with tile on the floor and tile on the walls. And then a little, little potty room there. So we, you can see there's potential for lots of awesome decorating. It is all very vanilla right now. Um, it's, you know, which means it's all very just um, not decorated, very plain. So it's like a blank slate that we are so excited to jump in with some, some calm colors and some nice fa fabrics and patterns. So that, oh wait, no, it's not the first floor. We're not done yet. This in here is our pantry. So this is great, right off the kitchen. So we can store all kinds of stuff in here. Beautiful, nice big space. And our laundry room, which we've already junked up. Sorry about that. Just some of the stuff that we brought over. Front loading washer and dryer. Awesome. So I think what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this up, make this nice and bright. Probably put a shelf here. A little bit of decoration, maybe an accent wall, a rug right here. This is beautiful. I'm very happy with this. And so much storage and everything. Oh my gosh. I might need to move one of the, oh yeah, I can, we can fit dishwasher detergent. Okay, so that's the laundry room. And now we're gonna head up the stairs. Time out before we go upstairs. Mike's, I was gonna say the most important part of the house. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but definitely Mike's favorite part. Would you like to share with sure. them, Mike? Okay, so let me do this. Wait till you see, you guys. Okay, welcome uh, aboard. Here we go. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 <laughs> so this is funny, a lot of you probably have garages. Mike and I grew up with garages, but we've never owned our own garage until yesterday. Congratulations, baby. It's a garage. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> it's two car. It has an automatic Watch button. this. Oh, watch. Watch, watch, watch. Ready? Warm <clears throat> up. So 
so far it's nice. There's some organization. They've hung up some things over there. We're going to fill this with car, well, very organizedly, with cars and bikes and beach chairs and extra paint and all the stuff you put in a garage. Oh, and maybe even a weight bench for Brennan. He wants a and these are our um, hurricane shutters. We moved in yesterday, we're like, um, they left a bunch of stuff, I'm not sure what that is. There's actually hurricane shutters, so that's good. Hopefully we'll- A garage rug? A garage rug? It might be. That would be perfect for the, um, for the weight bench, right? Brandon has a full weight room. I know, but he said there's no weight bench and it doesn't go- Yes, there is. <laughs> But it doesn't go a lot. Oh, anyway, we'll figure that out. He said it does not have enough for him. Sorry. All right. I don't know if it's supposed to be a garage rug, well, but we I'm can make it a garage here. rug. I'll move it out here. Okay, perfect. That would be awesome. <laughs> Just kidding. I want you inside with me. In the summertime, garage is for a lot of people to do that. Yeah. Okay. How about that? That's great. And I measured that. That'll fit perfectly in the lanai if you like. If, on the lanai if you would like to take it out. My goodness, I can't even talk. Moving on up, Joe. Ah, thanks, Mike. All right, well, Mike is doing that. We're going to go upstairs and look at the upstairs. You guys ready? Here we go. So you come in the garage, and these are the stairs. We we're so happy to find a house in Florida that has two stories. A lot of the ones in this area are just one story. And um, this whole upstairs is totally for the kids. Um, this is a little cove, a little alcove right here. We're gonna put a desk there. Okay, maybe, maybe they're not gonna sit at the desk, but we're gonna put a desk there with a computer. And then this room is crazy awesome. This is our second living room, I guess, or we'll call it, we're calling this one the family room and then downstairs the living room, I guess. Um, it has two beautiful windows that catch the morning sun. And then we're gonna put a big screen TV there, either two couches or a big sectional right here. I don't know, the kids were up here yesterday. Mom, we have a pool table. Can we have a foosball? Can we have like a little like seating area, bar area? So I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna lay out. We need Katie here too because she can um, let us know what she thinks about what this should be. So the three of them should really converge on that. So over here, whoops. Okay, so we came up the stairs there. Oh, this is a storage room. I should probably show you in there. This is where like the HVAC is and everything like that. So it's just, but it's a huge, nice air conditioned or heat controlled storage room or temperature controlled storage room. And uh, over here is our bathroom. So this services the two upstairs bedrooms and the living room. So there's a nice sink over here. Shower, beautiful tiled shower. Huge laundry closet, or linen closet, I mean. Oh my goodness, humongous. So that's great. You know, at our home, our house at home, we don't have huge closet space. We've certainly maximized it, but um, it's not huge. But here, there's tons of storage. So nice, huge, big mirror. I might frame that out. Not sure, not a top priority right now because because this bathroom is perfect the way it is. But we'll just do accent things, rugs and that kind of thing. Probably with blue, maybe, I'm not sure. All right, so this room over here, so there's two bed, there are two bedrooms. There's one, two, and <clears throat> they're both the same size. <clears throat> they mirror each other, pardon me. This one on the left is gonna be the boys' room. So we did, again, purchase some furniture from the folks that were here before. This is their beautiful big closet. So with all their golf shirts and I don't know, sweatpants, whatever it is they wear, hats, all that. So there's that. We're going to put two twin beds in here. So a bed there and a bed there with a little table right in the middle. And this view of the golf course, when Brennan and Ryan wake up every morning and get to look out at the golf course, oh my gosh, they're so excited. Again, if you haven't seen yesterday's video where we surprise revealed the house to Brennan and Ryan. Take a peek and see what their reaction was when they found out we got a house in Florida and it's on the golf course. Kate's not here, she's at home um, training for her state pole vault meet, which is tomorrow. So that's why she's not here. But, so she still hasn't seen the house, but this is gonna be her room. This is a lot of furniture. I'm not sure if we're gonna keep that guy in here, but she has a bed 
And we're gonna get two side tables over there. I think I'll wait for her to see what exactly she wants. And then she also has the same closet like this. So that's good. And her view is also the golf course, but she gets to wake up and look at palm trees, which we thought would be something a little bit more Katie to have this room and see all the palm trees out her window. Cause she doesn't really care as much about golf. If you haven't seen the Katie golfing video, look here, right there, because it's pretty darn funny. And you guys, that is it. That is the, our house. It is three bedroom, two and a half bathroom. Um, with Lanai on the golf course and a two-car garage. So we are very excited, very thrilled, and cannot wait to make some changes and make it our own. We'll have to do before and after, right? Yes, we'll yeah. definitely do. What, what, do you think we'll ever have an after? Like, do you think it'll ever be done? It is a real time. Okay, yes, excellent. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video of our new house tour, and you'll be seeing us here quite a bit. Stay tuned. Comment down below what you think we should do. If you have any ideas for the house, we would love to know. The garage ideas. Gar <laughs> like what to do with the garage? <laughs> exactly. I love it. All right, we're going to go off. We're going right now to buy stools for here. We found some on Facebook Marketplace. We're going to buy counter stools. That's going to be our first furniture purchase. And we're going to buy paint for the walls. So see you guys later. Take care. Bye. Good job. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.